Are you gonna help me carry some stuff? No. You're not gonna help me. Yeah, Let's go. Oh. Yeah, well, I'll find a way. So now I've got a basket full of things. And I'm like, hang on. I only came here to get two things. That's why I didn't bother opening the food. So sorry, people. I didn't bother opening the food to get a shopping bag. And now here I am with a basket full of things. Yeah, come on. We don't need any of that. Okay. That's crazy, cool. I'll see that right there. I've got so many shopping bags. Oh, they just stuck close. You got number six. You got number six. So that is what I bought. It's I bought all these. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, and it's moving. I bought all these. And I did not bring a shopping bag. Let's let it move. But why did he not let the bathroom move? I don't know. So I bought all these and I didn't bring a shopping bag. I'm going to be looking pretty silly. Come on, baby girl. And I didn't take a trolley either. So it'll be quite interesting. Let me just get my money out first. Is it go up? Have a good one. Hey, how's it going? Hi, right, good. How are you? Not too bad. Can I just check your bag number? My bag? Yeah. What's your criteria for checking bags? Sorry? What's your criteria for checking bags? Uh, just have to check every bag that's larger than an A4 size. So, so 33, 15, Capricorn. I don't think my bag is larger than an A4 sheet. Is it? Um, oh. Yeah, then 33, 15. How much? $33.15. Yes, my bag larger on April. So at this point, they will not answer my question when I asked them if my bag was larger than an A4 sheet, which is not. If anything, my bag is actually about the size of an A4 sheet. So I asked them again if they suspected me of doing something wrong or stealing or concealing an item. And I was making a live video at that point. That's why I captured the first part. But then the video cut off. And as soon as I noticed, I started recording with my actual phone. So I asked them if they suspected me of doing anything wrong. And then the lady in the gray cardigan who started all this, she said that if I was not doing anything wrong, why would I be refusing for them to check my bag? But then my bag doesn't exactly fit in the specifications for the bags that require to be checked so why did they find that necessary they could not answer my question and yeah i noticed the lady following me around in the shops earlier but i thought she was just a regular shopper doing her thing and also if you look at the video at the very beginning of my life i mean the live video i chopped the end off from when the drama started but if you look at it from like that when you look at that video you see that she took bread from the aisle went and then came back to the bread aisle most likely to check on me to see if i was coming around to the checkup it looks like she went and said something made a false accusation to the staff in the shop or something of that nature i don't know exactly what happened so i don't want to draw any conclusions or make any assumptions however I noticed that particular lady in the gray waiting around 
near the checkout area. People were lining up, but she was not lining up. I went to enjoy the line. And then she was still hanging around. And then when it was time for me to get there, she walked quickly and came and stood right there. And usually in these kind of shops, they will not ask to check your bag until after they scanned all your items. However, the checkout person, checkout attendant, asked to check my bag before he even started scanning my items. However, you cannot accuse a person of stealing. Even if you suspect them of stealing, you cannot request to check their bags or anything of that sort until they've concealed the item and left the shops. That's when you can draw the, the conclusion that they have no intention of paying. But here's the case where I had nothing and they were just harassing me. Yeah, this was my local Audi. So continue watching the video to see what happened next. Part of this, Jangy? You? you do? Smile. Uh, Very what? Depression. Okay. Well, my pathetic. Because you were called. Why are you being called? Okay. You're going to call the management. Call the management. Do whatever you need to do. Manager to the register. Um, how much was it again? Uh, 33 15. 15. Yes, I'm recording this. And I don't consent to you recording me. Well, whatever I was going here. To you recording me. Whatever was going here is none of your business. She's recording everyone here. Manager to the registers. 33. 33 dollars and 15 cents. 33 dollars and 15 cents. Okay, it is a um, condition of entry to bag check here. $33.50. Are you okay to stop recording? Please? No, I need to record this for my protection. We also run the bag check. Yeah. Manager to the registers. So here I am, I'm paying for my grocery. Okay. This is the kind of thing you experience in Australia where you're a person of color. Here we go. So I just need to record this for my just need to record this for my protection. Yeah. You know you're not allowed to publish that without my permission. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'll do a place Can I have my receipt? Don't worry. Yeah, please yeah sure. Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Don't worry. You're only doing your job, mate. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Like so these That's people here, here. these people here, this woman here said that's why she shouldn't be allowed in the country. To you recording me. So what do you mean I shouldn't I be allowed in the country? Yeah. What do you mean I shouldn't be allowed in the country? No, you can't say I shouldn't be allowed into the country. That's discriminatory. Is it cool? You're racist. Yeah, follow the police report. I've got all the evidence I need here. Baby girl, there you go. Sophia. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we're leaving the shop in uh, the shop now. And I've purchased my stuff. Don't yes, darling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I needed to record because the harassment was getting a bit much. Let's go this way, children. Come on. No, that's not a good trolley. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, let's go. So, yeah, this woman here in this vehicle, her number plate is 1IAL545 in a Volkswagen. Yeah, Volkswagen Polo, that's her going. She was telling me, come on, that people like me should not be allowed in the country. Meanwhile, they were the ones harassing me. Yeah. This kind of thing is very common in Australia. And one thing I advise you to do is be quick with your camera. Because these people get in trouble. And if you have no evidence, you will not be able to defend yourself. 
so yeah that's it for now actually i'll show you the size of my bag show you the size i'm just putting my stuff on the bottom because i was not even intending to buy much okay i think i'll please stay there i was not intending to buy much so that is the size of my shopping bag and that is next baby boy thank you that is that is the stuff i bought that's the size of my shopping bag and this is the tomato sauce i purchased i'm just using the tomato sauce here for scale okay there's a banana here i'm using the banana as you go just a second you can eat it I'm using the banana for skill, okay? I'm using the banana as a skill. This is the only bag I came with. I had no shopping bags. If you guys will recall earlier, I was talking about how I only bought two things and I was not planning on buying much. And so thank you. I was not planning on buying much, so I didn't bother taking my thing. Here is my receipt as proof of evidence. Okay. Sophia, Sophia, stay next to me, please. Yeah, here's my receipt.